Reporting here on the Ghost Letters channel, right here from Tokyo, Japan. All right, everyone. So it's that time of year here in Japan. The uh, rice harvest has finally rolled in, and I gotta tell you guys, point blank, don't eat it. Really, point blank, do whatever you can to avoid eating this year's domestic rice harvest. Now, you know, I may sound like an alarmist or an extremist for saying this. Hey, I can understand that. That's what you've been led to believe. Anybody tries to make a strong statement. So, let's use a little bit of logic here to understand why you need to avoid eating this rice. Domestic rice. Number one, now I did a video previously where it came out, the first official a survey of soil contamination came out and yep soil was contaminated over 500 barricules per square meter I believe that right there is proof one the soil is contaminated in the major areas where rice is being uh, rice was produced and guess what one of those major prefectures in Japan is that's right Fukushima a lot of rice well was grown I don't know about next year. Okay, point two. Now, anyone's been keeping up with everything here in Japan will also know that we had beef contamination. Now, how did that happen? Beef eating the hay. Hay in Japan is, is rice hay, not your normal hay. Okay, so they eat the hay, they get contaminated. They did test, the hay was contaminated. Where's the hay come from? That's right, friends the rice fields. So ergo, as logic would tell you, the rice is contaminated. There's point two. So this year's rice harvest is rolling in. The rice already contaminated the beef and the soil the rice has been growing in. Proved to be contaminated. So what do you expect when you eat this year's rice harvest? It's going to be contaminated. You can guarantee it. It doesn't matter if it passed any type of litmus test or anything like that. Yeah, sure. Rest, mark my words. That rice ain't safe to eat. Okay? Now we have to think another thing. Another point, excuse me. That people will say, oh, it's passing the regulation test. Okay. Again, I mentioned in previous videos. We got to be careful about that. Think about it. The government's putting very vague standards on how the test should be done. And the central government in Japan is not the one actually doing these tests to pass for rice and beef. It's coming from the local prefectures running the test. Local good old boys, local government officials up there doing these tests. So you can imagine there's a whole wide area for corruption to go down in, those, in that situation. You know, the local boys, the local officials, they know the farmers. Put two and two together here. We already proved those gritty farmers will sell beef and sell rice left and right, no matter if it's contaminated or not. So right there, you got one, two, three, strong points. Don't eat this rice. Okay, so there's two types of rice here in Japan. If you're living in Japan, you want to avoid Number one, which was just told to me a few hours ago, something called branded rice. All right, what is branded rice? It's rice that's been mixed together. It's all the rice they have in a storage bin, uh, in the silos and wherever they keep them. They don't check that. It's a mixed bag. And they throw that together, and Japanese regulation says they don't have to say where that rice came from. Now, another one. 
If you go into your supermarket here in Japan and you see a mark in Heisei 23, don't eat that either. All right? That is this year's harvest. All right? You see it very clearly right there. It says Heisei 23 on it. Don't eat that either. That is actual this year's harvest. So if it's unmarked and it's branded rice and if it says Heisei 23, that's your good chance that just year's harvest. You got to avoid it, guys. I'm telling you ahead of time. Don't eat it. Okay? All right. So what I'm going to do is um, actually show you a couple of pictures of the rice. A good example of the rice you need to avoid if you're here in Japan. So we'll go watch that those pictures right now real quick. Come back. We'll finish the video. Okay? So check out these pictures real quick. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay? Okay, there's an example of the type of rice you want to avoid. Now let's make it clear that with the branded rice, it may be safe, all right? Because it is mixed. So, but do you want to take the chance? You know, most of us would prefer not to take the chance. Uh, with the Heisei 23 rice, you know that's no good. That's this year's harvest, all right? So. What are our options here in Japan? What are we left with? You know, domestic rice, you know, this year's harvest is a complete wash. Probably next year's harvest is a complete wash. Uh, the Rice Farmer Union got a tight grip on government influence with this. So you can bet your bottom dollar this year's harvest is going to be pushed right through. Uh, and due to you know, also this tight control of the uh, Farmers Union. It's really difficult to get imported rice at a reasonable price. The imported rice is going to be extremely high if you buy it at the supermarket. That's at the supermarket, okay? So your options here to go online. Buy your rice online. You can get a great deal on it. There's several sites out there. Just do a little bit of research. If you're here in Japan, you can find it. That's what um, uh, me personally, that's what I'm doing. Uh, but I was lucky enough to get a few bags of rice from last year's harvest before it ran out. Before the supermarkets push off the last year's harvest and start pushing in this year's harvest. But most people are not that lucky. Most people don't think ahead. And that's one of the biggest problems. People are not thinking ahead. You know, it's obvious people are seeing the news. You know, people are seeing what's going on. They're just not putting two and two together about food in this country right now. you got to be extremely careful. You know, the news and the media, the mainstream media, keeps on downplaying the dangers of eating food that's been, ready, that's ex been exposed to calcium iodine and a host of other radioactive material uh, floating around in Japan and in the world. It doesn't take much to ingest to have serious health problems. Serious health problems. Now the point of telling you that is not to scare you or not to be an alarmist, not to be an extre extremist. The point to tell you that is to make sure to wake you up, basically. You know, to know, don't eat the rice. You know, be extremely careful when you eat beef here. When you buy your foods and vegetables at the supermarket, take advantage of the fact that in Japan, fresh fruits and vegetables must be labeled where they're from. Take advantage of these things. Take a look at it. Make wise, make wise choices. And far as the rice goes, again, I cannot say this strong enough. Do not eat the any of the domestic rice this from this year's harvest. Now, a lot of sentiment in Japan would be to eat it. Because, again, Japan is a semi-closed society, extremely homogeneous. There's a feeling in Japan 
among Japanese people. It's a cultural feeling of being guilty, of being shameful if you don't eat it. Don't play around. Don't give in to some of these cultural convictions that you have to eat it because you're somehow supporting the nation. It's obvious the nation is not supporting us here in Japan. The farmers want to make as much money as they can. They don't care. They'll sell it. They'll do whatever they have to to get past inspections and get around regulations. The farmers union will do everything they can to prevent safe rice from coming in here because they don't want the competition which is understandable, but under the current circumstances, come on. You know, it's not time to play that. We have to think about people's safety. So guys, yeah, we're about to finish up here. Just want to make it very clear again. Stay away from Japanese rice. If you live here in Japan, don't eat it. If you're in another country, you see it on a shelf, just say no. Don't buy it. And again, if you're in here in Japan, buy your rice online. It'll be much cheaper. You will pay a slightly bit more than the domestic, but you won't pay nearly as much as trying to buy imported rice on the shelves of the supermarket here in Japan. Okay, so by the way, today's report will also be featured on America 20XY. There'll be a link below so you can go to the website and check it out. Very good website, chock full of truth information for you. All right, guys, as always, this is Ryan reporting here from Tokyo, Japan.